Good morning, everyone. It's Friday, April 23rd, and we're walking to Tim Hortons right now. We had two snowy, very cold days for the last few days, and today seems like it's going to be a little bit better, so I will come back on in a little while and let you know what we're going to do. Well, it looks like there's some sort of protest going on here. I just asked the guys that were holding the banner what the protest was about and it's about vaping. The government wants to take away vaping and they, this is a college town, so obviously they want to keep it. So that's what they're protesting. So most places are closed in Montreal. So we would like to go see the shrines and it does say online that it's closed, but we're going to walk there anyways. And hopefully we'll find some cool stuff on the way there. Plus we will sightsee along the way and hopefully show you as much of Montreal as possible. I need a picture of a skinny horse. Now these are beautiful lights under the Ritz Carlton Hotel walkway. how ornate all of the buildings are. They've kept the old buildings, they haven't ruined the faces, and they build new buildings right next to it or right in between. This is the man, and this is the lady. This is the, this is the Montreal Museum of Fine Arts, another beautiful building. Anybody know who this man is? This heart, this goes out to all my subscribers. I love you all. It's a really cool totem pole in front of the Montreal Museum of Fine Arts. For all the moms out there, I'm sure you can relate to this. A horse and a monkey. Has it right. For all of the pig lovers in the world, oh. oink oink. Another cool indoor mall. I think every few blocks you can come to an indoor mall. Prettiest flower display. So I'm assuming that we are going to be walking up this hill because I think the church, St. Joseph's Oratory, um, where a lot of miracles have happened is up there, but it's closed according to the internet. So we're going to go there anyways. We have faith that a miracle can happen whether we go inside it or not, but so far we're going. I have been talking about St. Joseph's Oratory to Angelique for years, ever since her seizure started. So that's over three years. I believe in miracles. So I have the faith that her seizures could be cured if it's God's will. So here we go. We're going to go up this hill. Everything is going up. This for Cynthia is for all the Cynthia's in the world. I have a Cynthia and that's what we used to tell her. It was for Cynthia. Okay, pick a number. How many kids do you think I had? One of these numbers. Okay, so we're still walking up the hill and supposedly there's a lookout up there over the whole city of Montreal. Like I said, everything is fancy. Beautiful. We're trudging along up the hill. Tree has got something going on here. And Ricky's gonna roll down the hill here. It's a lot steeper than it looks. Oh, Ricky, you scared me. I got real steep hills roll down. There's one more little guy to add to my collection. I'm taking a video of the drain that runs down this hill right here. 
and we're almost to the top of the hill. We'll be there in five more minutes. Ooh, and I think I see it through the trees. We turn the corner and here it is. And I know that it's closed and I wish so much that we could go in there. We're going to start walking up the stairs to the top of the church. Okay, are you ready? They're doing, it looks like they're doing renovation work here, so it doesn't look very nice here, but I'm sure it will after they're all finished. This must be quite the walk every Sunday to go to Mass. behind us. We're just standing at an overlook here. These are the pillars. And we wish we could get in this church. So I'm sitting on a bench and looking forward. This is how decorative it is. after walking 8.8 .8 miles I am starving and I cannot wait to get there and eat back to the room 